Hi everybody, welcome to the latest medical video by VitaCare Family Clinic. I am Dr. Chen Yiming, Medical Director of VitaCare Family Clinic Singapore and founder of Fitivate.com. So I'm sure we are all receiving an overload of COVID-19 contents. So for a change, today we'll be talking about the influenza virus. So flu is a contagious respiratory illness caused by influenza virus. There are three types of influenza virus, A, B, and C. Type A and B are the two main viruses circulating globally. Influenza C is rarely associated with epidemics. Flu is spread via respiratory droplets made when people sneeze, cough, or talk. These droplets can land in the mouth or nose of people who are nearby. You could also get it by touching a surface or an object that has the flu virus on it and when touching your own mouth, nose, and eyes. The incubation period for the virus can be between 1 to 3 days and you can be infectious, meaning you can spread the virus to others within one day before your symptoms start to 5 to 7 days after the onset of your symptoms. Symptoms of influenza include fever, lethargy or fatigue, headache, body ache, runny or blocked nose, cough, sore throat. Complications of flu include pneumonia, ear infection, sinus infection, worsening of chronic conditions like heart failure, asthma, or diabetes. So who is most likely to be infected with influenza? A US CDC study done in 2018 showed that mean incidence values or heat rate by age group were 9.3% for children 0 to 17 years, 8.8% for adults 18 to 64 years old, 3.9% for adults 65 years old, or older, this means that children are more than two times likely to get influenza compared to adults more than 65 years old. Certain groups of the population are at higher risk of developing serious flu-related complications. They are children aged less than 5 years old or adults more than 65 years old, pregnant ladies, patients who have chronic metabolic conditions like diabetes, cardiovascular or chronic pulmonary conditions, and those who are immunocompromised. Residents of nursing home or chronic care facilities, patients on long-term aspirin therapy. These are the groups of patients who should get their yearly flu vaccinations done. In Singapore, influenza A and B virus are present all year round with spikes during the end start of the year and middle of the year. The last influenza pandemic happened in 2009 it was estimated that about 270,000 Singaporeans were infected with 18 H1N1 related deaths. The pandemic was from June 2009 to August 2010. Treatment of influenza. Most patients recover with symptomatic treatment. Simple medications to bring down the fever and to treat the flu and cough symptoms. Plenty of rest and hydration. There are some cases where antivirus can be started within 48 hours of onset of symptoms and that can reduce duration of symptoms for the virus by about a day. Antibiotics may be used in proven cases of secondary bacteria infection. That's it for this episode of Medical Videos by VitaCare Family Clinic. I hope you learned something from this. If you like our videos, please click the subscribe button to receive updates on new videos. Please also check out the rest of our productions. If you have any topics you would like us to talk about, reach out to us via Facebook, WhatsApp or website. Thank you, till the next time.